Mandarin Grammar with Chen Lao Shi Wu. Da xia hao. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Mandarin Grammar. This time we're going to talk about duration of action. This will be the first video in a two episode series. Put simply, duration of action is how long someone does something. This can apply to a lot of situations. For instance, how long it rained today or how long you spent on homework or maybe even how long you're going to spend in China next year. In Chinese, we put the duration of action after the verb phrase. Note that duration of action is different from time phrases. Time phrases explain when something happens. Duration of action explains how long it happens. Time phrases go before the verb, while duration of action goes after the verb. Let's look at an example of how to use duration of action. 我要在中国住一年 I want in China to live for one year. Duration of action always goes after the verb phrase, which in this sentence is 住, which means to live. In this sentence, that duration of action is 一年, which means one year. So, 一年 goes after the verb 住. Remember that duration of action always goes after the verb phrase. Duration of action also works for things that have already happened. For instance, we could say 去年我在日本工作了一个月. Last year, I, in Japan, worked for one month. You can see here that we put 去年, last year, at the very beginning of the sentence. That's because it's a time phrase that shows when something is happening, not how long. Time phrases can go anywhere before the verb phrase, which in this sentence is 工作了. However, 一个月, one month, is the duration of action in this sentence because it shows how long I worked. So 一个月 goes after the verb phrase 工作了. So remember, duration of action goes after the verb phrase. And that's a wrap on duration of action part one. We're going to have one more episode about duration of action since verb object phrases, which I talked about in a previous video, link below, complicate the structure a little bit. So we're going to look at how duration of action works with verb object phrases in our second episode, duration of action part two. Until then, you can use the interactive activity below to check your progress. Also, feel free to rewatch this video at any time if you need to. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. 再见!